What's up, tubers? Scotty P here, and um, I'm going to do a few things today. I've got a VR to Corn Cop Piper, Corey, for his 500 sub giveaway, which he's way over that now, which is awesome. And uh, I got a few Yabos, just a few things I wanted to share with you. Sorry about the shaky hands. I got the uh, I got nerve stuff on my hands, so sometimes they're shaky. Smoking my Dagner Cobb poker. In honor of Corey, and in it, I'm puffing a little burby, burly, <laughs> bourbon, puffing a little burly in honor of Corey. Uh, I'm smoking some Peterson University Flake, which is a Virginia burly, so which I really enjoy. And the tin, it smells like blueberry muffins, <laughs> which is just awesome. Uh, it doesn't really smoke like blueberry muffins, but it's a tasty blend anyway. Um, so, uh, Corey wanted us to share uh, a, sh a story from the year, um, from 2017. Yeah, involving pipe smoking. So, 2017 was my first year of smoking pipes. Realistically, I tried it before in 2014, but this is a year that has stuck more than a few days. <laughs> so, trying to think of a story to, to share with you all, and I don't really have a great story other than maybe the first time I smoked on a golf course uh, and ran into another pipe smoker on a golf course, which was kind of cool. Um, on one of my favorite courses, which is out in... East Haddam, uh, and uh, I was smoking my Meerschaum, uh, the Strombach, and uh, another guy walked up near me, and he was smoking a pipe, and uh, you know we shot the breeze, which was kind of cool. But really, uh, my main experience from 2017 with being a new pipe smoker was just trying new stuff, which um, kind of brings me to the Yabos and all that stuff, and trying new pipes and new blends and, and getting into it and figuring stuff out. So that's really where 2017 was for me. So, Corey, congratulations on all those subs, man. Uh, don't throw me in a drawing, because like you, <laughs> Corey's given a lot of tobacco away. Uh, he has a huge seller of different stuff that he tried over the year, and um, <clears throat> I've got the same thing going on. So. Uh, I just want to do this in support because I've got a ton of stuff in my cellar that, from stuff that I tried from over the year and uh, I don't need to add to it. I just need to smoke it. <laughs> so congratulations on all the subs, man. And I just want to do this to support you in your channel. Uh, if you're not subbed to Corn Cob Piper, give him a shot because he has a ton of stuff out there. Uh, does a lot of reviews and you should go back and, and check out his things because he does a, a lot of reviews on Burley Blends. And if you like Burleys, he's the man. He really is, uh, as far as finding out about all the different kind of Burleys that there are out there. He's done a ton of reviews. Quality, quality reviews. And he's a great guy. So, uh, <clears throat> earlier in the year, he uh, he did a cigar blend, and I got to name it, which was kind of cool. I was part of that contest, and I won it. Um, and we did a little trading back and forth, and I made my own cigar blend and sent it to him. So, anyway... Uh, with all that in mind, let's get to some of the new stuff. Hmm. Down here at the golf course today because it's a nice day out. Got a little break in the weather. So, uh, first off, I got a new pipe. And, um, I, you know, I haven't done a lot of Yabos recently, but I wanted to do this one because I thought it was kind of a cool company. So, um, little story behind this pipe. I was looking around on the internet and I, I bumped into uh, Blue Room Briars. Blue Room Briars. And um, uh, they got a little note here. We strongly recommend you allowing your pipe to acclimate to the room conditions before assembly. Cool. Um, and the cool thing about Blue Room Briars is, hopefully I'm not making enough, too much noise so that you can't hear me, um, is that uh, if you buy a pipe from them, uh, every year you could send it back to them and they'll refurbish it. So I think you just pay for the shipping or something like that, but complimentary yearly refurbishment, which is kind of cool. I mean, I, I do plenty of refurbishing on my own, but I just thought that was a neat idea, and they had some cool pipes, and there were a bunch that I really wanted, <laughs> but I settled on one. So, um, Blue Room Briars, if you can see that, uh, it's uh, blueroombriars.com. And uh, Scott Townsend and Jesse Jones, and they did a nice little packing job here. I opened this up beforehand so that you wouldn't have to see me fumble around with the tape and all that stuff. Uh, but 
You got the pipe, you got a little pipe sack. They sent a uh, pack of pipe cleaners, which is kind of nice. And uh, so let's check this out. And I'm not gonna tell you what this is beforehand because I'm gonna give you like five seconds to figure it out. But got the pipe, got the stem. It's a uh, little military mount here. And put that in there nice and straight. And uh, it's a bent billiard. Can you see that? Kind of full bent or three quarter bent at least. Um, and it looks just like a system pipe, but it's not. It's a Savinelli. So it's not a Peterson, but it even has a P lip on there. Can you see that? I just thought it was an interesting idea. So I'm a big believer in Peterson pipe. Uh, Peterson pipes and Savinelli pipes. I thought this was like the best of both worlds. So I really like my Peterson Craftsman series, which is a which is a full bent like this, and uh, same kind of idea going on. To just 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 have a, a deeper bowl, same kind of finish, about the same. Uh, my Peterson's a bent ball, so this is a bent billiard. So I thought that'd be a nice little addition. So that's exciting. I wanted to smoke it today, so I figured I'd do the Yabo today. Just got it in the mail last night. The other thing I got, I actually got this from Amazon. Uh, and since it's winter and we don't get days like this, I mean, it's 40 degrees out today. Uh, but uh, I need something to do, folks. <laughs> got to keep the hands busy. So I got a set of files. And I got a box of, they do 10 unfinished pipes. They're drilled. They're partially you know, shaped. Um, they're done by Mr. Brock, Mr. Brock. And um, so I got these and I got the files and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna kinda see what I can make out of them and also work on finishing pipes because I've got some projects that I wanna work on. Some uh, some pipes that are unfinished pipes. I wanted to, to finish them in different ways. So I've got some ideas, some different ideas. I didn't wanna ruin the pipes that are ready to go and these are kind of, I don't know, there's, some of them are look like they'll fit a regular old stem, and some of them are really, really wide, and I'm not quite sure what to do with that, so I might get some freehand stems and see if I can make that work. But that's the whole deal. You get 10 pipes for 20 bucks. Uh, the drilling isn't great on some of these. Some of them are bang on, but they're really seconds. So anyway, I just want to get my hands ready with the file and start working on some projects, I'm not going to be the next great pipe maker. I just like messing around with stuff. So that's kind of the idea. Anyway, folks, I'm going to get out there and enjoy this nice weather. And um, I've got a nice little cigar. i got a Man of War Ruination Corona because I'm not going to be out there for that long. And, uh, and I hope you folks enjoy your day. Anyway, this is Scotty P saying, congratulations, Corey. Corn Cob Piper on your 600 plus subs that you got now. And uh, salute, folks. <laughs>